POV, you go to a party and ask somebody for a Nerf pistol. Pull this out. That's no Nerf pistol, give me something better. All right, fine. How about this one? I said I want to see a Nerf pistol. Okay, then. How about this one? Uh, yeah, it's more like it. <laughs> What you call a nerf blaster this is the nerf maverick and it is the first way and most of you watching this video probably saw nerf in the first place this blaster is absolutely legendary why is that let's find out even i saw this blaster but i'm gonna be honest I was not involved or interested in the Nerf community when this blaster was a big deal. In fact, when I actually got into the Nerf community, it was because of the strong arm, the next generation after this blaster that came around, and I don't even have one of those anymore. This blaster, though, is the reason the strong arm existed in the first place, and it's also the reason that the disruptor exists. So if you like the disruptor or the strong arm, you can thank the Maverick. I just hit another blaster and knocked it off the shelf. But let's go over this blaster as I do all my other blasters, starting with the design. It is a masterpiece, and I'm not even sure why. I'm not sure exactly what it is about this design that makes it so good or so iconic, but it really just is. I love this design so much, whether it's just because of the simplistic nature or how well everything just blends together. There's not too much I can say. It is a good looking design from any angle you look at it at. It looks aggressive but also like something you would want to play with all the time. It honestly looks like something, if I had this back in the day, you betcha I would be flipping it every day and I would be going and shooting targets at my house with it every day. I don't really have much else to say about the design. If you've seen it once, you've seen this design. You know what it looks like. It's iconic. Let's go to the ergonomics. This grip, I just, oh, oh it's refreshing. It's so good. Like, if you take a look at a modern day Nerf pistol, look at this grip. Look how small and annoyingly angular it is in comparison. It's thin and it's just, it's too small for anybody's hands. The finger toil is too tight. It's just, oh, it's not very good. This one, they put a lot of effort into this. Look at these big ergonomic finger toils. Look at how nice and rounded they are. Look at how wide and large the grip is that it's just, it's heaven to put your hand on. The grip is so good. And, and heaven forbid I test the trigger, please I... Oh, it's so good. It's so, so good. It has such a nice smooth pull in and it rotates the cylinder on the trigger pull. It's just... Oh. I have spent the last two days just doing this. Just playing with this blaster and pulling the trigger, not even dry firing it like this even though that is equally satisfying because this top grip is very comfy to put your hand on, the pull is nice and smooth, and it has a spring return, and then when you fire it, it's quiet, but at the same time, sounds like it could pack quite a punch. But just the blaster's ergo and the blaster's just like general ease of use is unmatched by any other Nerf pistol I've ever used in my life. The strong arm didn't come close to this. The disruptor doesn't come close to this. The commander never came close to this. And you betcha the trailblazer has nothing even close to this. How does this blaster work though? Like I'm about to gush more. Check this out. This was the first blaster that did that to my knowledge. And it actually does that pretty realistically, not having the cylinder fall all the way out of the barrel. But I don't know, that could be wrong, but I'm actually not quite sure. I'd have to look at that. But you load a dart in all the way yeah, you could brass barrel this, and I've seen people do that. You close it, you prime it, and then you get single shot. It does not have slam fire. I'm pretty sure this was way before slam fire was even conceived by the Hasbro engineers. But honestly, I don't even care about doing slam fire. I just want to do this all day. I literally could make the review all about me doing this, and I would be happy with that because this is just so fun to do. It is so satisfying to pull this freaking trigger. This is the best trigger I've ever seen on a pistol. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. I need to get onto the firing demo. All right, I, I got no comments. All right, all right, back to the trigger. Oh, okay. So what do I think of the Maverick? 
this blaster is, it's so good. It is so good. I can't believe how good this blaster actually is. I've wanted to use one for years. I've seen them, but I've never been able to pick one up. And I finally get one and I see why people love them so much. I can kind of see why. Everything about this blaster has been done in a good way and I really don't have any complaints with it. This is another one of those very few cases where I can't find a complaint with it. The closest thing to a complaint is the performance. It hits a little bit less than elite ranges, but the thing is, it's end strike. It hits a little bit less than the elite, ra elite ranges. This is actually overperforming back for end strike standards, and that is insanity to me. Because back in the day, this would probably be the most functional blaster you had in your collection, and I honestly would still run it to this day. I have so much fun playing with this blaster, no matter what I'm doing with it. Even if I'm just cosplaying and not firing the blaster at all, or if I'm playing with it just blinking shooting at a target, or if I'm actually using it as a sidearm in a war, it is fun to play with, it is fun to use, and that's really what Nerf is all about, having fun. So if you find one of these things at a thrift store or you find one on eBay for cheap, please pick it up. Do yourself a favor. Get this blaster in your collection because really, now that I have it here, I don't think anyone's Nerf collection is complete without one of these. Thanks for watching. Bye.